They are used to protesting, but this time China's government was shouting with them. The Chinese ambassador joined hundreds of conservationists in Tanzania to say that elephant poaching must end. Elephant wildlife is our best friend, so we must live together friendly. <laughs> For years, conservationists have said that it's the legal Asian market that has fueled a killing spree of elephants in Africa, but this march has been organized by the Chinese embassy itself. It is not just a symbol. Beijing's tolerance of the ivory trade is fast running out. In the five years to 2014, 60% of Tanzania's elephants were slaughtered for their tusks. The illegal ivory is often labelled as ethically sourced and then smuggled into legitimate shops in China. But Beijing now says it will ban all ivory by December, closing the world's biggest market. They deserve our heartiest congratulations. Because it is the trade that encourages the poachers and the traders. If it is banned, they will have no market and therefore they will be dissuaded from engaging in this terrible activity. But it may not be that easy. The gangs have guns and are organized, and detectives say 1,300 poachers are still at large. On Monday, a 66-year-old Chinese grandmother will appear in court, accused of being the so-called Ivory Queen. Her case is believed to be the world's most significant ivory trafficking case that's been brought to court. But Tanzania's top ivory detective says other ivory markets are still going strong. Very recently when we came up to the international trafficking business, now we are seeing Vietnamese. Malaysia is coming up, Hong Kong is another one coming up. We are seeing some Americans also coming up. And that's why we also encourage them to declare this illegal business uh, banned in their own countries as well. The killing of elephants is so widespread that conservationists say that the African elephant could be killed off within this century. But the country that poses its biggest threat is taking action. And the elephant's future may depend on whether this new friend fulfills its promise. Dan Ashby, TRT World, Dar es Salaam.